tell you what I did yesterday. See, Kitty's out here helping. Doggy was helping. She left. Anyhow, Dottie called yesterday morning and uh, said he was going down to Green and Sons and get them weights for his new Kubota skid loader. Wouldn't know if I want to go along, look around. Oh, yeah, might as well, considering, well, Green and Sons going to have a their annual auction. I think it's the 22nd of February on Tuesday, online only. And uh, so we went down there and got parts, his parts, and looked things over. And uh, I don't remember whether I took, but I took a few, a little bit of video of some of the stuff there, but not. Not near as much as all oh, a whole bunch of nice new stuff everywhere and good good equipment. And then on the way we went over out 38 to where Saturday the 26th Steve Kaiser's having a farm sale over there. And uh, oh I don't know there's about a dozen tractors or so and a whole bunch of John Deere. Uh, propane tractors and it looks like two or three of them probably good and the rest of them are parts tractors and all kinds of old junk farm equipment and uh, it might be good for something but I don't know what and then look things over there just a little just had to come up the house put new batteries in this camera I run out out there so I couldn't finish telling you what I was talking about or, anyhow, uh, we got done looking at the stuff at that auction sale, and we was coming back through London. And Donnie says get about dinner time, and he's hungry, and you well, know, he wasn't know where we want to go get something to eat. And I don't know. Well, he knowed where McDonald's was, so went in there, and oh, uh, he said I had to pay for dinner. Well, I guess I was all right. Got a free ride. Go look. So, uh, he ordered stuff. I got a couple cheeseburgers and fries. But the worst thing, he bought a cheeseburger for that stupid dog of his. I never bought my dog a, a cheeseburger, but I had to buy his dog a cheeseburger. Oh, well. Anyhow, from there, then we went on down to uh, the green uh, farm equipment, which... They're the ones that used to be Tri Green Auction, but they're after they moved over there, they changed their name to Green Farm Equipment. Yeah, I stopped to visit with Judy and Connie in there in the office. And then as we took a quick drive around at the equipment they had out there in the lot, and then I was talking to some friends of uh, Brock and Cowboy and Everett. They were loading up a load to haul out that they got sold somewhere so well, anyhow that's what we did yesterday and uh, oh well, this is about what I did today so maybe uh, oh Saturday I'm going to another toy tractor auction so I'll let you know what happens then all right that's about all kind of chilly out I better get back in and put some wood in the fire all right that's all no, oh, no, why not? Oh, uh, watch my videos. But click, click on that like thing there, and you know, like the thumbs up. You know, I guess they say that pays more. I don't know. I ain't doing this all for the money. It's just for the fun of it too. But anyhow, it helps. You know, and then maybe. I'll buy some another worthless old tractor to get rebuilt if I ever get caught up. All right, that's enough for now. Yes, anybody want, think they know where I am today? My boy come down to get some parts. So I'm going to look around. There's the interstate over there. All right. I'll guess, guess where I'm at. Uh, look at here, an auction sale kind of up. All kinds of old stuff. 
getting all kinds of parts. Probably 90, 90% of this would be for junk. There's a rarity right there. A little New Holland self-propelled. There's a bunch of old tractors. All kinds of stuff. All right. Uh, then we stopped here on the way going by. And guess where this is? Look at who's over there. Where are you sending this load to, Brock? Uh, Western Pennsylvania. Western Pennsylvania. They need it. Sent a load yesterday, too. Some of them come from Wisconsin. All of them. Well, keeps you busy, doesn't it? Yep. That's good.